Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Deal with Survival. Today I have lost all pairs of pantalones that I own through my journeys, but it's okay because through my journeys... What's that, pumpkin head? What's that? You're about to join me in my journeys too. I got my hands on a lot of zombie parts. Me being the zombie uh, underling of Frankenstein here. As you can see, we got a lot of points. We're about to get even more. And it should be just enough for us not to get the pumpkin head, but to get multiple zombie chains. And we're going to be using these multiples. Oh god, that would have been bad if I had a full inventory and I got one and it disappeared. Because uh, I want to figure out the max size of the zombie army that we can have. And then potentially even do some testing with the big one as well. I'm excited to do that. I hope you guys are excited as well. I hope you guys had an absolutely fantastic day. On top of all that, today, at least the day that I'm uploading this, it's a pretty chill Sunday afternoon over here in the Star Household. And I'm being chill as in really chill. It's like 40 degrees, dude, a week ago. It was in the 70s. It was nice. All of a sudden, Illinois is all like, nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. You want the cold? And I'm like, no, please, no. And then it just gave me the cold anyway. Uh, apparently, Tommy and John have not disappeared yet, which is weird. They've lasted longer than they should have. I'm not going to go complain. I'm just going to go try to spend a tad bit more quality time with them while we still can. Uh, my inventory is pretty full, though. We are not going to, however, be using the zombie chains here with these guys uh what i actually do want to save my zombie chain you know what? we should probably stop by home now that i think about it drop off a couple of these things yeah i should do that drop off a couple things pick up some pantalones you know listen it was a long adventure and i really lost some but so uh, yeah i hope you guys have an absolutely fan fantastic one that only gets more fan fantastic from here on out whether that be from watching the video or just from doing whatever willy-nilly you want to do <laughs> you know but uh yeah and also reminder in that comment section down below actually just in the video in general you guys have a chance to do something something awesome you can enter into a 25 dollar itunes slash play store weekly 25 dollar gift card giveaway all you gotta do is make sure to leave a comment down below i'll be asking you guys some questions as always throughout the video if you want some inspiration for that comment or just leave whatever willy-nilly you want to leave and uh, make sure you guys like the video as well make sure you are subscribed on top of that and uh you can hit that notification bell for the inside edge but if you do all that that'll enter you in on today's episode of the uh last day on earth giveaway and as you guys know i'll pick a random last day on earth video from this past saturday it's this upcoming friday when uh that day rolls around what's the day i'm talking about saturday because that's when the giveaway winners are always announced when that day rolls around i'll go ahead and make sure to pick up a couple of them winners and uh not a couple of them just one sorry at least for now who knows i'm having plans to maybe expand the giveaway if the popularity keeps on going up and uh yeah just make sure to do that and uh, you can enter on all last day on earth videos but giveaway shenanigans aside best of luck in that best of luck to you boys when it comes to getting your hands on the chopper as well whether that be through opening engineer crates whether that be through opening up some boxes speaking of opening boxes uh, we're gonna want to bring a couple of these tangs with us, aren't we, there, lads? And I do want to drop off a couple of these things as well. So we're gonna go knock out the, uh... I kind of want to go with the bunker first and do the zombie army stuff. Honestly, yeah, let's do that. That's the whole point, so I just want to spend as much time as possible on that. Uh, I'm gonna have to drop off a couple of tangs, though. Alright, uh, before I drop off a couple of tangs, I have to make some blueprints out of P. This is the new- this is how they make blueprints in the future. No longer do we waste our natural resources of lead, which is a limited resource. No, we use an unlimited resource. We use a renewable resource as our ink. We use human urine. Dun, dun, dun. I know that's disgusting, but it's okay. Just go along with it. Dun, dun. And the finishing touches, of course, a fresh pair of pantaloons. Hello, pantaloons. Welcome to my legs. I hope you enjoy your stay. And uh, here's what we're going to be bringing along with us. Not anything super nutty, but the reason for that is, A, we got a broomstick. We're going to be cleaning up the bunker. Oh, I see what I did. Oh, my God, I'm lazy. Uh, but also, we got some weapons waiting for us over there, so I'm a little bit prepared in that sense. And maybe we should bring some... I think I got some baked beans over there, so I think we'll be fine. And let's head on over. But before we make our way over there to mess around with the zombie army, there's something that a lot of you guys want me to talk about. I've seen it in comments on like the past week or two of videos. I've been seeing it for a while. And I thought, all right, you know what? The people want it. So I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Something that not everyone might know about. Because not everyone adventures, you know, away from the edges of the map. Which has, you know, lots of scenery and stuff. And a lot of cool things. Like random mountain ranges. And over here, it just seems random and generic. Nothing, nothing that special seeming. 
in all of these directions, right? It just seems like, okay, we just got some blank, but then something very special happens. Something very special happens over to the east. Uh, this is very special. I don't know if you guys realize that all of this land that I'm scrolling through right here is all just very plain, very normal. Couple trees, a river every once in a while. Oh, look at that. Maybe a, a little bit of an ocean there. But then you get to this. Some sort of ridiculously giant volcano crater. I don't know. I don't think that's a volcano, though. Like, it might be, but this is something that a lot of people wanted me to talk about. And I'm going to talk about it. And I want to get your guys' opinions on it as well. But this is, like, the only thing out of bounds of the map, at least that I've seen, that is unique. Everything else is, like, a river, a random mountain range, or some trees. Nothing else sticks out like this thing does and that's why i knew it was special and that's why i'm guessing you guys knew it was special too because i'm sure we had people who explored like all of the out of bounds of the map and this is the only thing that sticks out sorry about punching my mic there that sticks out like a sore freaking thumb where is it where are you at i don't know how that there it is so as you can see it's what appears to be some sort of a giant crater uh it could be a volcano my best two guesses as to what this is it's either a volcano so we might have to have so that actually be pretty fun if we have a volcano that we have to deal with eventually <laughs> go with or Number two, it's the site of a giant Meteor crash because that looks like what could be a meteor crater and what could be a volcano I could see lava spew now just the one thing that makes me think it's a meteor more than a volcano is that it's like really wide But like I, I know when you think of a volcano you think of kind of like narrow thing that spews out lava Technically speaking, I think they can be wide like this, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a volcano, but I know it can definitely be a volcano and also then the meteor. And here's the thing what I'm thinking of with the meteor. If this is a meteor and if they included it in the map, it even like, look at that, it fades away some of the trees that it was on top of. So it's like specifically placed on top of the map. And dude, if it's, if it's a meteor, what I'm thinking it is, I think this might be the meteor that caused the infection because some zombie games have that happen. Some zombie games, the zombie apocalypse might start from like a random disease or sometimes it'll happen because of like a disease that comes from like a giant meteor, like a meteor crash. Like I know we played a game on the channel, uh, like don't bite me bro a couple months ago and that's exactly how it started. There was a meteor that's uh, a meteor crashed into the earth and all of a sudden just zombies started happening. People were getting infected. And becoming zombies. So those are my best two guesses as to what that is. I definitely want to talk about that because it really seemed like everyone and their moms wanted me to talk about it. So I didn't, I didn't want to uh, disappoint you there. Also, we should get the bunker code before I decide to do anything extra stupid. I don't know, dude. I, I excel in the extra stupid. I apologize. But I'd love to hear what you guys think that is in the comment section. That is definitely something that... And rem reminder that comment can't count as your entry into the giveaway as well. But I, I really want to hear that one. Because that's the only two conceivable things I can think of. But the thing is, you guys are creative as all hell. And you guys can definitely think of some better stuff than that. Or you could agree with me. Nothing wrong with agreeing with me. Nothing wrong with disagreeing with me. But those are my next best two guesses. But if you think that that's nothing on the map, if you think just that that's a random decoration, I don't know about that, man. I don't know. Why, why would they specifically place that there to be a random decoration when everything else on the Out of Bounds map is just... Trees is scattered about. Uh, what else is it? It's trees scattered about. It is random rivers every once in a while. And a couple mountains. Not giant crater mountains, though. A couple of just, like, mountains, like, map mountains, you know? Like, uh, like those. You know, you know that that's a mountain. You know, mountain range. But this, this is next level. So I'm thinking we might have to go there at some point in time. You can even see it's not like it's it's not like it's a bajillion years away and it's like, oh, we're never getting to that. No, it's like, dude, realistically speaking, it is really close to home. Like, honestly, beyond the pump jack, you know, go a couple like, I don't know. You guys saw how much area the winter biome added, right? So let's just say you can see like, OK, let's measure it in terms of screens. Top of my screen to the bottom of my screen and it looks like it added in about one and a half screens worth of area. We'll check this out. Uh, this is one screen, and then half a screen would be like right in the middle here, and that's right there. So there's a chance that like whenever we start expanding out this way to the pump jack, and maybe there's a watchtower here that leads this way, this could be like a couple of zones away, but realistically speaking, I think that that's definitely something, it's not just random. 
it's there. Kafir's gonna do something with it. Maybe that's where the giant, like, maybe that's where the end game boss is gonna be. We gotta go there to defeat, like, the creator of the zombies. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just tossing around ideas that you guys can agree or disagree with. But uh, now that we've talked about that, and hopefully we'll be hearing some awesome things in the comment section, let's focus back on the bunker and the zombie chains. All right. So I wanted to get the zombie chains to help me out. So maybe we didn't have to use as much when it comes down to the bunker. And uh, so maybe our zombie uh, army could help us out with taking out big ones or frenzy giants since those guys are kind of annoying. Uh, do we want to bring any guns down with us in our in our locker of doom? Uh, you know what? Well, first off, I'm taking that. Sorry, pantalons. You just got upgraded, dudes. Uh, oh my god, I forgot how much awesome stuff I have here. Uh, anyway, shenanigans aside, I say we grab ourselves maybe a rifle. Because I think we need a rifle to deal with... I'm keeping those AKs because I want to transport those back home at one point. I think we need a rifle to deal with the turret in the second floor. And I'm not trying to die to a turret, so I will definitely do that. Uh, maybe I'll grab a katana or some kind of like okay melee weapon. Maybe I'm thinking about it. I'll probably... Hold on, I could probably take that bandit. Yeah, look at that. I need a bandaid anyway. Hopefully we don't run out of band-aids super quick. That would suck. I gotta haul some of these things back home, but hold on. I'm bringing another melee weapon with us, because I did not bring any other melee weapons. So I guess the machete will work. My machete's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. Oh, Jesus. I gotta, I gotta go jump. I gotta go jump off a bridge? No. No. That's, a, that's really high. I gotta go jump off a ledge. You know, but like a really small ledge. Like a five-foot drop. I gotta do that. I'd probably still... Dude, realistically speaking, I'm the type of person who would break their ankles off a one-foot drop. You know, like, I would I would stick the landing perfectly. My ankles would still be shattered all to hell. Oh, you know what happens now? Hold on. My favorite reminder every time we go into the bunker. Not only do we get to slice some heads off, collect some tickets, but that thing right there might have a wrench waiting for us. Now, some people said, I think when I mentioned, like, wrenches being more rare, people are like, stop, wrenches aren't rare. I have a ton. I, I mean, like, relative to other things. Like, you can't tell me that wrenches are as common as, like, wires or, like, cloth or rope. Like, wrenches are on the rarer side, all things considered. I don't, like, th does that make more sense? Like, I, I, always, I always like to think of things, like, relatively speaking, or, like, you know, relative to tin cans, relative to water. Relative to trash, wrenches are a little bit... Actually, no, trash is pretty hard to find. As stupid as that might sound, trash is actually legitimately a problem to find. They've really cleaned up their act here, you know? Like, shouts out to the zombie janitors, man. They are doing some amazing work. However, these eyeballs are doing better work. All right, and let's go clear out this fast biter. And then we'll loot this up. Boop. Maybe get a yellow ticket and start off with the box opening. Hopefully get a red ticket box open and pop in as well. But can we get a wrench and or a yellow ticket? Boo! We got the yellow ticket. I'll take that. I can't complain. But okay. Let's open up the yellow ticket box. Give me some good game. Give me engine parts. Maybe a gun. Something that I could use down in the... Ooh. Kalashnikov 47. This makes Papa Star happy. Papa. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. It's amazing. Oh. Ooh. I'm trying to do like the Halo chant. <laughs> that is way too high pitched though. I don't know why. You know, it's it's my own rendition. It's more beautiful. No. It's not more beautiful that way, dude. The Halo theme song, that thing. That thing is my childhood. I played so much Halo as a kid. I don't know if you guys know what Halo is, but that game was magical. Okay. Time for the testing. Time to figure out. Oh, I can't put those there. I gotta use them in my inventory. Okay. The max zombie army size. Supposedly, this says it's five. However, in the past, the description of these things have never been the most accurate. You guys might remember the Spike Devastator. Said it did 27, only did 26 for a while. You know, sometimes things can be misleading. So one, we got one zombie following us. Two, we got a second zombie following us. Three, we got a third zombie following us. Four, we got a fourth zombie following us. Five! We got an army of five zombies. The moment of truth. And this is also a good thing to know because if it does waste it, we will know if it lets us waste it. Ah! It got used. But it did not summon anymore. So, 
The max size is not a lie. That is the true size of your zombie army. There is nothing that can be done about it. Oh, look at those guys coming through, man. You can't change it unless you're running like a modded game, maybe, in which case... I don't know, you could probably somehow mod it to have like a giant army for fun. But other than that, that is, that sucks though. So once you have five zombies, word of warning to you guys. Do not, I repeat, do not use that zombie caller again. However, why don't we go and reap the rewards of having such a giant army, shall we? Why don't we see these guys go to work? Help me out, boys. Oh my God, look at all those numbers. I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna let them do all the work. Look at that. They pretty much do 24 damage a pop to this guy. That is amazing. Perfect. I love what you got. Show me what you got. You don't have to show me. I love what you got. I also love what will hopefully be some baked beans in my inventory because I'm about to starve. Yay! Uh, um, yum, 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 yum. Perfect. <gasps> we got some beer. Hold on. You guys know, as tradition is around these parts, if we find our hands on some of the magical beverage, we got to, uh, we got to, you know, water, water the dead bodies. Got to make sure that they sprout, you know, got to make sure that they're reincarnated as trees that grow on ceramic tile. Who knows? Are all my zombies still alive? Because here's the one worrying thing about these guys. The one thing that always concerns me. Oh, wait, I'm smelly. That's not good. The one thing that always concerns me about these guys is that, uh, they just, uh, Look at that. Oh, look at that, dude. If I'm sneaking, they they just do damage all by themselves. Look at that. All by themselves. Look at how perfect that is. Although the problem is, every time that they attack, you guys can see that there's two numbers. And that is the thing that sucks here. Because one of those numbers is the damage that they're taking. Now, I don't know how much health they have or anything like that. But I'm guessing, hold on. Can this pistol actually reach this guy without me getting shot? Ah! Nope. Definitely not. All right, well, at least I can shoot from here. I wish I could get the zombies to attack this thing for me. But hey, I guess they don't want to. That's all cool. I don't want to do things sometimes, too. You know, things... Yes! Give me that red ticket. Things can be hard sometimes. And, you know, it, when the going gets hard, lay down, eat some ice cream, and think about why you're doing things the hard... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh! Not too shabby. A fresh pair of pantaloons, too. Okay, where do we move forward? But yeah... I guess what I want to do as well is see just how much damage these guys can take. I want to see how far we can get in the bunker with these guys, because they're going to have to dish out a lot of damage if they want to survive. And I don't know how that's going to go. And the one thing I love about this pistol here is that since it has the uh, sight, it gives us extended range. Because normally, I don't think that pistols can, like, actually... Are they already attacking? Good stuff. Oh, no! They're chasing me down now. Ah! But you got, like, the pistols normally can't reach that turret. Like, usually, to shoot a pistol at a turret, you have to be within the turret's range. But that's the one thing I love about this pistol, is that you don't... I, I don't know. It has the extended range because of the sight. That's actually super handy. Like, if that extended range thing is useful on anything, I think it's most useful on the pistol because it makes the pistol an actual turret killer. And being a turret killer is a very good trait to have. Can I get some good stuff out of the... Ooh! Some nails. We got enough for a green ticket unboxing, so after these guys die, or after we're done doing this floor, we'll go ahead and go back up there. Because I do not want these guys to go to waste. So either they are dying, or we're finishing the floor, and I will take that as well. Hello. Now, where are those band-aids at? Beautiful. We gotta get them on band-aids, at least. Um, let's make sure we don't 1v1 the Frenzy Giant in melee. That's just a recipe for disaster, but... The awesome thing is that our zombie army can help take him out. And the zombie army isn't going to get ruffle stomped by him. The zombie army is actually going to take him out. We're only going to get a yellow ticket from it. Uh, everyone's still alive. Good job. Uh, Bob, Jim, John, Timmy, and uh, Reginald. That's the name of the five zombies. You know how Santa Claus has like nine reindeer or whatever the hell? Yeah. Well, that's me with my zombies. But it's not reindeer. It's the... Uh, Zombies with pumpkins on their faces. Yeah, what up? I know advanced stuff. Uh, super advanced. Yeah uh, Okay, this machete is about to break anyway. I'll switch over to this thing. Did I already collect that? I did okay Um, you know hold on guys really quickly. We gotta take another potty break. We gotta take another one I'm sorry, you know, I've just really like ah Feels good man first time I've peed in a real toilet in years The zombie apocalypse really just makes you oh no 
I really should have thought that through before peeing again. Nah, eh, that's okay. These guys are gonna hunt me down anyway. I think yeah, oh yeah, they're coming for me. Oh look at that, they're like trying to spook me. Come on, rest of you guys, help me out with the zombie attack. I want them dead before you're dead. Two, okay, they're still alive. Good news, good progress. Uh, let's go back to the pistol. Let's try to take out our friend. You guys gotta move, man. You guys gotta give me. Oh, I'm actually kind of scared that something bad's gonna happen here. Oh, this is actually really bad. This this frenzy giant. I. Uh, eh. What I just realized is that you can actually get stuck on your zombies in like these narrow hallways. So instead, I'm gonna tell the friend the frenzy giant that I exist through here. But yeah, like if the zombies stop moving. Like, they do legitimately... Okay, I don't know what they're doing. I think they're trying to go attack the Frenzy Giant. Good zombies. Good zombies. But you can't get stuck on them, and that is really bad. I don't want to get stuck on them. That's like a disaster scenario. Are right, you guys gonna... Good job. Do some work. Do everything you can. But I'm trying to figure out roughly how much health these guys have. And I mean, so far, they've dished... I mean, my best guess would be they probably have around 100. But again, that's only a guess. I don't know that for sure. But you guys can see, like, yeah, look at that. They exist. They have hitboxes. When they're not moving, you can get stuck on them. So in these narrow hallways, especially against the Frenzy Giant, last thing you want to do is actually get stuck. Oh, look at that, dude. My dude is just embracing the gas. Oh, my God. That body is flying. Oh, there's two of them. I did not realize there was a second one. Good job, boys. Get ready for the next round. Did they all drop stuff? They did. Yeah, that dude's just, like, bathing in the smell. Do you see him? Just like, ah, I'm bathing in it, too. Not in a good way. Whoop, 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 whoop. Safety. Freedom. Yes. All right, let's go back to the pistol here. Do some traditional damage on that guy as always. Head back to the broom. Sweep up their act. So where did the rest of my pumpkin heads go? Oh, pumpkin heads. I require some ayurame. Oh, no. And this is the... They've, they've begun to drop dead, haven't they? Oh, no. Oh, no. The, the first couple dropped dead back there. Aw. Well... There you guys can see the approximate lifespan about them from how long they survived. My best guess, and it makes sense for a guess too, they probably have around 100 health. Unfortunately, I think that is all that we are dealing with. We only have two of them helping us out now, so that is unfortunate. But hey, I will keep going for them in the name of Johnny and, and I forgot the rest of their names, so that's Johnny and Timmy. That's the only two survivors left, and I'm totally not saying that just because that's the only two names I remember. No, not at all. That, that would make me an awful zombie parent. I would- I'm a, I am the best zombie parent. What are you talking about? Uh, and we gotta deal with these guys. This is definitely where these two drop dead, though. They're not gonna survive much long. Yeah, there we go. There's one. There's the other, and we are left alone. Forever alone. It's sad, I know. There we go. Let's use that band-aid. That dude flopping back. At the very least, I want to get to write about the halfway marker of this bunker, but uh, that's that's just sad news, man. I wish they survived longer, especially after all the work I had to put in to get them. And thank you for the red ticket there, man. But after all the work we had to put in to get them, you know, it's, it's a struggle. I, I wish they lasted longer. And it does suck that all this stuff is going away during Halloween. I really wish Kafir would, uh, what is it? Would, what should I call? I can't think of words. I wish Kafir would let it last, like... I, I, like, it'd be cool. I guess I, I can kind of get why. I guess because they, like, they don't want, I, I, I don't know. Maybe they just want these event items to be special items, and then they want the game to be, like, relatively serious after that. I don't know. I, I wish they lasted longer. There is the spray paint. I'm gonna be doing my best. That's the next thing I'm gonna grind for after we, uh, well, I do need to get one more zombie collar at least, because I do want to test, and if the tests go well, even attack the big one that's one thing yeah i know i'm crazy all right because the big one we know that he can only take damage if it's 20 damage plus however maybe kafir made an exception for the zombie army because i think one of the teaser videos they did for this update is uh they legit oh are these boots nicer than mine actually they almost are that's sad uh they legit had i think the big one and just a giant horde of uh pumpkin heads so I don't know. You know I, I don't know how to take that. I'll, I'll I'll play it by ear and take things from there, but it's it's at least worth testing because I want to know what happens and I don't I don't want to be left in the dark and just be like, oh well, guess we'll never find out. Like no, I want to find out at the very least. And if it's possible, I want to stockpile to the max. 
as many zombie callers as I can and try to take on the big one with our zombie army. That would be epic, yeah. Die. Get to the army now. Subtoxic abomination. You want some broom? You want some broom, baby? I think he wants some broom. There we go. Heal that up. This thing, dude, the broom actually has like really good durability. I'm very surprised how long it lasts. Like, you guys saw how low it was already, and it still took out, like, one of him pretty full on. Red ticket, red ticket, and some brains. All right, I think I'll know what to do with the brains. I smell like doggy doo doo anyway. Thanks for the brains, dude. Let me rehydrate your head. Maybe that'll sprout another brain when we're back. <laughs> That's how brains work, right? Something like that. I don't know. I'm not a brainologist. Maybe one day. Whoop. I always hate opening that door because sometimes he's waiting right by the door. If you have a frenzy giant waiting by the door, it's not good. It's not good. That is just when things go south quicker than, uh, uh, than a flock of birds migrating. Holy hell, that's the greatest metaphor I've ever come up with. Up to 20 red tickets. Not looking like we're going to get much more unless we luck out with this thing. Maybe we get a wrench. I think it's. I think that's one of the possible loots for this, getting a wrench. Crossing my fingers. Maybe? Maybe? Ah! Uh, no, we got some blue paint. I'd rather... I'll come back for that. Oh, I got a new hat, though. Yeah, not worth it for that small increase in quality. We'll open up the terminal. Let's make our way back. Let's top this baby off with a green crate unboxing. The hypest color ever. Just kidding. We all know it's uh, uh, blue. Even though there's not a blue chest. I'm talking about the blue spray paint up. No. <laughs> but yeah, let's go open up a green crate. I wish it was a red crate. Don't get me wrong. But hey, if it comes to opening stuff, man. I ain't gonna complain. And then we'll probably do the Smuggers Camp in the next episode as well, because I'm gonna record the next episode uh, later tonight, just because uh, tomorrow, Monday, is my day where I have class all the way till like 3 p.m. my time. And uh, I like to upload videos around noon my time for the first video of the day. So Mondays are usually a struggle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there you guys get an insight, super inside look into Star Snipe's college schedule. He's has class till 3 p.m. on Mondays. Yeah, I know. Super in-depth stuff. Next thing you know, I'm going to someone's going to show up in my class and be like, hi, Star. And I'll be like, hi, I'm very scared that you somehow managed to find me. But hi, what do we put on? Oh, no, I'm not putting that new stuff on yet. Uh, I'll definitely grab those weapon parts. But let's see. Show me what you got. Green crate. I like what you got. An AK and an engine part of the green crate. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I'm holding my phone right now because I'm playing on it. But I need you guys to hold. Well, you're probably holding your phone too because you might be watching on. Oh my God. I need more phones to be felled. More phones to be held right now. Because we just got an AK out of a freaking green box. Rarely ever has anything other than a pistol and an engine part on top of that. This is ridiculous. I, sorry, pantalones. I gotta leave you behind right now, dude. I'll, I'm leaving behind the nails, too. I'm grabbing those two things. That is amazing. That is an amazing way to end off the episode. I don't care what you gotta say. That is, I, I told you, dude, green crates are the hypest. You know why? The bar is so low on them that when they actually have anything good, it's like the hypest thing in the world. You know, it's pretty hard to explain, but we got some weapon parts to pick up too. Dude, I have close to like 100 weapon parts at this point at home. So I hope we can actually use those things for some cool in the future. But other than that, excited to hear what you guys got to say in the comments section regarding some of the questions I asked you guys with the volcano slash meteor thing. And uh, I guess another question I wouldn't mind asking you guys is what do you think of the weapon parts and how they're going to be used in the future? Because we have a lot of weapon parts. I know we can use them to craft up like some weapons and stuff, but... I don't know. I hope we can use them. You know what would be awesome? Well, I don't even know. Just the flamethrower. And if it took some weapon parts and some gas and, and yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know. But uh, excited to hear what you guys got to say. Best of luck in the giveaway. Have yourselves a favorite fantastic Sunday or whatever day you might be watching this on. Best of luck opening up these things, getting your hands on the chopper gas tank, unless you are getting your hands on it through uh, some engineer crates. Best of luck doing that. Best of luck joining us here in the chopper squad. I've been hearing a lot of people saying they've been getting it lately, which makes me stupidly happy, makes me stupidly giddy and all that. But other than that, it's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.